Hi, this is Philip. I'm the co-founder and CEO here at Sales Wings. And I would like to show you today how you can synchronize contacts, lead scoring and lead website tracking data from Sales Wings to almost any CRM out there. As you know, we have native integrations with Pipedrive and Salesforce, but using Zapier, which is a automated workflow tool uh, that's very easy to use, uh, you can literally push Sales Wings contacts and all tracking data to many, many different CRMs. So you have Close.io, Prosperworks, uh, Zoho, HubSpot CRM, uh, you name it. So there's hundreds of CRMs that you can uh, connect to. And what you need to do is, firstly, of course, uh, go to Sales Wings and connect from the settings, uh, connect Sales Wings to Zapier. So you have to do this only once for the entire organization. It's not that every user has to do it. And there's a separate separate guide how to connect uh, in our help guide. So I'm not going to go through that. But you need to, of course, be connected to, to Zapier. The second thing that you need to do first is you need to create sales wings fields inside your CRM. So CRM usually allow you to manually create fields. So we need a few fields. We need the sales wings ID. This is the tracking ID, which should be a text field. Then the lead score. This will push over the lead score, the lead temperature, which is also a text field. The last visit date. So when did the contact visit the last time your website, which is a date field, uh, the page views, page views syncs over all the URLs that the, the lead or contact has visited on your website. Um, then you can create a field called visit summary, it can be text or a URL. Here we sync over a link, which will essentially provide uh, a link going to the summary section. So the summary section, is essentially, let's take here, is essentially this section here, which provides the CRM user, you know, with a link that shows him immediately uh, when he visited and what pages uh, the lead has, uh, has visited on your website. Um, then last but not least, of course, the total visits, the total website visits, and this could be a numbers field, uh, ideally. Once you've created these labels, you can go to Zapier and create a new Zap. So as you've seen, you can push data to many, many CRMs. We've selected Close.io here as an example. So I'm going to open this one and walk you through the different steps. Firstly, you need to set up a trigger. So when do you want the contact to be created in sales in, in your CRM and Close.io uh, and uh, what do you want to um, push over? We'll come a bit down here. Okay, so first you connect your to the Sales Wings uh, lead scoring app. So you look for it here, lead scoring, and then you have different possibilities when to push the contact to your CRM. So some companies they only push the contact to CRM when a lead in Sales Wings turns sales ready. So that depends on your internal process. But you can also uh, create the contact in your CRM as soon as he's created in sales wings, whether he's tracked or not. Uh, what we're choosing now is we want to create a record in a CRM when a favorite contact visits. But soon you will also be able to choose just when a contact visits, which is probably the, the option we would recommend. Can then continue. It's going to just test a step. And then you want to add an action which is called delay. So the way to do this is if you click on plus and then select action you and you go down, you have built-in apps from Zapier and one is called delay. And this will allow the contact, this will allow a delay before it creates the contact in, in the CRM. And essentially, this gives the lead when he visits the website uh, as much time as you need to to visit your page so that then you can push that data as well to your CRM. So I'm typically giving them 60 minutes. So they essentially will visit your page, your website. Uh, it's it's going to wait for 60 minutes. 
and then it's going to create a contact record in your CRM. Uh, for the CRM, so once again, we've chosen Close.io, but there's many other CRMs like Nimble, uh, Insightly, or others uh, that you can push the data to. And then, again, depending on the CRM, you have different options. What you want to select is either create a lead uh, or create a contact. But even better, some CRMs often that is to find the lead. This will look up if there is a lead first that has already the same email address, so we don't create duplicates. Optioni optionally, you'll be able to create a lead or a contact if he does not exist yet. So you want to probably select uh, one of these two options here. I'm going to continue. So I've connected here ready to close I.O. The value you want to look at, so here you have to search for the lead. And you have different options to search. And the value you want to look for is email. Why is this? That's because that's our unique ID that we use. So we look, is there a contact or a lead with this particular email address? So you then you know, select here, and you select the sales wings options. You look up, uh, you, you choose the email address from sales wings. And then you go down, and then you have the option create lead if it doesn't exist yet. So yes, that's what we want to do. So if there is no lead in the CRM with this email address, we want to create it. And for this, you then go down and you select the different fields from sales wings that you want to enter in, in your CRM. So you have name, so as you see, we provide first name, full name, last name, email address, uh, we provide uh, lead score, and so on. So here I have the full name, I'm going to enter the contact direct email. And if you go down, so of course you have all, all different kind of options, but data we do not have. Uh, if you go all the way down, you will come to your custom fields, and if, as you can see, we have already created these custom fields. As a reminder, um, make sure to create these SalesWings custom fields. And I recommend to call them SW so you can quickly identify it's a SalesWings, a SalesWings field. Um, and there you can populate the contact record or the lead with the SalesWings data. So the lead score, date of last visits, page views, uh, visits link, etc. And Again, you just click here. If you create this new, you select the concerning field, the right field, and it will populate it. Now, what's going to happen, so this test was successful. Now, if, there, if it found a lead, and then it will not create a new lead. But what you then want to tell Zapier is that you want it to update the lead. So as a next action, you select another action if possible in your CRM. So you select the CRM and then of course you have different options. Ideally you update that lead then with the data he has generated. So imagine uh, we create a record today uh, in, in the CRM and then next week the lead comes back to your website. He will go through the first step, skip all these steps, but you still want to update that lead. So we're going to select update lead connect to the CRM account, and then um, look, up for the lead, look up the lead ID, which, you fe which it fetches essentially from this step here. So it's going to look up the, the, con the, the, the CRM ID. This is required, so watch out for required fields. You have optional and required fields. And then you can update the various fields here with the different sales wings fields. And you can continue. It's going to do a test. And once you're done, you can, you can finish that. And then, of course, turn your zap on. So if you need help, just write us an email to support at salesWingsApp.com. Um, it's quite easy to do, but you know sometimes you need a bit of a bit of help. That's normal. Sometimes a couple of steps are a little bit tricky, but 
Uh, it's a quite a smart way to add lead scoring and website tracking to literally any CRM that's connected to Zapier. Thanks a lot for your time and make sure to check out our other help guides um, with other useful tips about how to use sales wings and make more sales. Thank you very much and have a great day.